so let us move to our next exercise which is suturing for suturing we need a suturing material in this case we are using a 30 chromic cat cut so this is my preferred suture material i also use 40 chromic cat cut 40 vicrin and 40 polypropylene so next instrument is a needle driver it is a ratcheted instrument and uh, we use it for holding the or loading the needle driver and we would be needing one adsen forcep to hold the flap now let's see how to open this suture so we see here we have a slit over here what we have to do is tear along the slit okay never ever cut it because you would end up tearing up the suture and cutting the su entire suture so always tear it along the margins of the suture so now take it out safely and here we we see an oblique cut and one vertical cut so vertical cut is the place where the needle is so we open it up and here we find the needle now we carefully engage the needle so a common mistake what people do is instead of moving away the wrapper they move the suture so you have to move the wrapper away from you and not the needle This is a suture material. We will orient the needle. So when you are loading the needle, it should be two thirds from the tip, or uh, you can keep it in the middle as well. But never hold the needle at the junction of the thread and the needle. so before we proceed to suturing let us understand how do we uh, hold a needle driver there are multiple grip but the common grip is a tripod grip wherein you use your ring finger and thumb to hold the needle driver a common mistake which i have seen most of the clinician they do is instead of engaging their ring finger they engage their middle finger it's not completely wrong but it will give you less control over the instrument so it's always better you engage your ring finger i do it differently i use a modified thenar grip where i use my little finger and there's no engagement on the left side okay so let us start with our suturing uh you hold the flap with your adsen forcep and take a bite the bite should be perpendicular okay it should not be slant or oblique it should be perpendicular to the tissue surface theek hai so when you take the bite you don't have to push it but move along with the curvature of the needle okay i'll do it again you have to move along with the curvature of the needle okay so many people they have confusion about the depth at which you would be taking the bite in general it is twice the depth of the wound so if the wound is 1 mm deep you have to take it take the bite at 2 mm distance from the incision line so we'll take the bite over here and pass it from the other end so uh, what i do is i leave my needle in the needle driver and use an other instrument to tie the knot but it is up to you it's an optional thing i do it to ensure the safety of the needle as well as the patient so what i do i is engage it with my needle driver keep it away and now we have two ends over here one shorter end and one longer end so what you have to do is 
you have to take two rotations inside this V and cross it off. Again we have one more V, so we will take one rotation inside the V, cross it off. So that completes your surgeon's knot.